we are going to create a one click website using Zimrider and a few other tools for a local business. So this idea came to me when I was filming some videos for our community. I mean, it made a pretty good website using Claude. And so this was kind of the results from it, had our features and all this. So I'm gonna show you how exactly I did this. And then, so I'm gonna be going kind of through my thought processes and testing. So prepare for a good one. Let's get into it. And if you want any of these templates, they're in our community. We are growing. I think we've grown uh, to 50 in a couple days. So uh, from like five to 50. So thank you everyone who has joined. And if you want to join our community, it's in the description. So to give you a quick summary, uh, this is Claude AI and it's using Sonnet 3.5 and it has artifacts turned on. And so this is the website that it created from the uh, local buffet that I pasted uh, from the local buffet that Zimrider creates. So Zimrider will create a document like this based on your local business data. You just fill out the information and it will create you know, up to, I think, 125 pages for your local business or sorry, 625 pages for your local business. This is a guide on how to use local buffet. You can watch uh, this video right here. Um, Zimrider local buffet, one click website builder. Okay, good. We got that out of the way. So we need make Zimrider and Google Drive. We also need Anthropic and a ChatGPT. So as of right now, that's what we need. So the first thing I thought was to ask it to be a prompt engineer and take the nice website and create a uh, kind of breakdown of what it would be. And so this is the prompt that it gave me. And I thought I would just use that same kind of uh, make.com and I have a link for make.com down below so that you can get access to it. But uh, it gave me, using this prompt, not the best results. Um, I mean, it did all right. So if we f see this, it, this is what it gave. Uh, I mean, a normal template site, um, features, about us, frequently asked questions. Again, that uh, basic uh, header, the features, about us, and uh, question and answer. Same thing, header, uh, about us, frequently asked questions, and that. So not too bad, but um, you know what? I figured I'm gonna check Anthropic. I added $5, and I'm gonna see how it performs, if it will perform better. So I removed the ChatGPT, and I added Anthropic. So this is the prompt that I gave it. Uh, user, I'll include my first draft, or my first draft, uh, rules to follow, make it a one page website with modern UX, no headers, no vacation, no navigation. Uh, that's cool. Create a H2, H3 that makes sense based on the first draft, uh, primary colors. These are the primary colors and then first draft. So, um, that was the first attempt. I printed out these three, and then these were what it printed to my um, my uh, WordPress site. So we have Brea California CRM, uh, and this is this one, Brea California Instagram. Uh, Instagram, elevate your Instagram strategy, explore the difference today, choose our CRM. It doesn't really look like it uh, made a modern UI. Um, at all. This is another one. This was the third one. So I pretty much kept the structure the same. Uh, so that was kind of good, but I think we can do better. We've slimmed down our prompt. And as you can see, I've included my first draft, keep the structure the same, update the proper structure, and then the primary colors. And it's giving me consistent looks, relevant information. So it's looking pretty sweet. We do need to take out this first part so we can easily uh, do that. We'll just add only give me HTML code. It's still giving me this prompt. So all I do is put it into Claude and say, how do I prompt you to give me this without it? And this is what it gave me. So we're gonna test that. So we're gonna pull these three open uh, right here. 
And now we at least have some consistency in our code. Um, we could add it, something to the extent of make these boxes a certain style, but we're not gonna do that. We're about speed and efficiency. So right now we are, I updated this just a little bit. And so it's going to grab our posts. It's going to grab that information, feed it into ChatGPT, all of the different uh, site links. And then it's going to spit out a document that is going to be good for your uh, topical authority. And I wanna go over this part a little bit more just so you can understand. Uh, what it's doing is it's grabbing the uh, all of the fields here. Uh, and then from here, uh, let me actually put it in a smaller tab. So it's grabbing all of the fields, the link to uh, the website that I created, uh, the different links, all of the different links. It's aggregating it into one line, uh, all in one. And then I asked chat to, uh, actually Claude or Anthropic, and let me see if I can bring it in here so you guys can see uh, the, actually the message, actually let me just pull it up here, is create me a topical authority website based on my current website links. Here are my current website links, and then I put it in a uh, link, which was that text aggregator, and based on what you know about SEO, create me a list of articles you think that would start me to rank my website. These, uh, oh, these should be easy, be easy to rank titles and keywords based on my niche. And so uh, that's it. And then my um, context, so the assistant is you are a master at local SEO authority for local small business. However, whenever someone gives you links to their website, you take the links and create blog titles that would help build their business. Uh, you find this information that would help them rank their website. Usually it's a link to in a service. So I put Brea, California, cold call, call calling, Miami, Florida, real estate, Las Vegas, hotel stays. Uh, you take the local business name and create a topical authority based on that business. And then I have it, had it create me a document in the local buffet, and that's what this is. So it gave me these 15 uh, different titles, and then you can put that into ZimWriter, and we can paste that in the bulk writer, and I click bulk writing, and so it would make those 15 posts. And from there, we can then uh, use the link pack and start creating longer articles and different um, blog posts essentially that link back to these major articles. So in the next video, uh, I'm going to actually do a deep dive because I'm going to start from scratch. I'm gonna do it for a roofing company. I'm gonna take you step-by-step step on uh, doing it so you can show you this in practice and how crazy this can get because we can start doing featured images, we can start doing Pinterest, and start doing all sorts of stuff. So uh, this is just the start. Uh, already I showed you how you can create uh, your uh, local SEO sites. Uh, from there you can then turn that into topical authority and then with that one click create additional 10 sites. So it's just insane what you can do with ZimWriter and be on the lookout for uh, the next video where this is, I guess, maybe part two of this, where I take a roofing company the from scratch. I literally have, uh, I just bought the domain. It's a pretty sick domain. And I'm going to uh, pretty much go step by step on building it out with all of the uh, featured images, all the, the recent up-to-date information, and all the products that we have and use that to uh, make money. So I'm very excited about it. I will keep you up to date on it um, because it's going to be uh, very interesting, especially um, yeah, especially the way I have it set up. So I will keep you up to date on it uh, and the, I guess the, 
I don't know the, the how it will how it all works out. So um, the analytics, I guess. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm very excited, uh, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.